whenever our pores are clogged it's so easy for us to blame our skincare products or makeup for causing that but they might be innocent it might be just your skin that's clogging up by itself Good morning everyone, Leah here. So today I'm super excited to share this video with you all, not only because this was probably one of the most highly requested videos of all time, and everyone does experience congestion, everyone does experience clogged pores, and a lot of the pore care tips out there seem to be very focused on scratching the surface. Today we're diving deeper into the root cause of what causes clogged pores. You have pores, I have pores, a newborn baby has pores, everyone on the planet has pores. It's where your hair grows out but it's also a pathway for your sebum aka your oil to travel from underneath your skin to outside the surface of your skin to naturally lubricate, moisturize, and also protect your skin. So everything that you're born with does serve purpose. However, the problem does happen when it gets clogged. Clogged pore is probably one of the most straightforward things to understand. It's basically your pore lining or the pathway or the tunnel for your sebum getting clogged up, whether there's overgrowth of keratin, the skin cells that are bottlenecking the pathway, or there's something else that's blocking on the other side of the tunnel, therefore your sebum gets trapped underneath the skin. And that will eventually manifest into whiteheads blackheads or closed comedones, open comedones, however you want to call it. And when your skin decides to send some white blood cells to help, that is when the inflammatory acne would happen. What causes clogged pores? Oftentimes, or most of the times, we do think it's the skincare products or the makeup products or the dirt, bacteria, sweat, pollutants, and everything else that doesn't have to do with our own skin to be the demon, to be the evil and the culprit and the cause of clogged pores. Those are not the root cause of clogged pores and for any skincare ingredient or makeup ingredient to become even a little bit comedogenic, it generally requires at least 40 to 50 percent of concentration. The root cause number one for your clogged pores is thickened, waxy, gloopy sebum, your own oil becoming comedogenic. If you have never heard about the concept of lipid peroxidation or squalene oxidation, welcome to a channel that suggests a new way of looking at your skin. In simple words, it's basically your sebum, your natural oil getting oxidized, by UV exposure, environmental stressors, or anything that cause oxidative stress. There's something called squalene in our own natural oil. It accounts for about 11% to 13%, making it one of the main components of our own natural oil. It serves many different purposes, including naturally moisturizing your skin, making your skin feeling really soft, flexible, and just supple. However, this guy is very prone to oxidation. It is very, very unstable. And once this does get oxidized, what happens is that it becomes really, really comedogenic. So the very first skincare tip is to wear your sunscreen every single day if possible. There was one study that did an experiment extracting and isolating human squalene sample and exposing that to UVA radiation for about four hours. And they noticed that the comedogenicity or the pore cloggingness basically has increased significantly. Skincare tip number two is to add antioxidants to slow down or fight against the lipid peroxidation. There are some other consequences of squalene oxidation. Not only does it thicken up your sebum, making it more comedogenic, but also it does take away some really important skin antioxidant that naturally occurs on our skin, including vitamin E and also glutathione. So it is a really great idea to add some antioxidants back into your routine so that your skin has the ability to fight against the free radical and to slow down the oxidative stress so that it does prevent the squalene from oxidizing in the first place. Vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, these three ingredients are often talked about and often referred to in a lot of researches suggested as great antioxidants for your skin. However, if you do have clogged pores and acne, and if these two are your main concerns, I would highly recommend you to invest in a really great vitamin A 
product and that's basically a retinol product and we'll talk more about the vitamin A in a few minutes. If you do have extremely oily skin, green tea as your main antioxidant source would be a wonderful idea because not only does it have one of the most potent antioxidant compound or source called catechin in it, but it also does regulate your sebum production, managing the entire oil factory of yours. Root cause number two to clogged pores, dysfunctioning skin cellular turnover. Going back to the pore tunnel again, if there are constantly dead skin cells being built up on the other side of the tunnel and they don't know when to leave and they're really just chilling there, not paying any rent, it does become a problem because your sebum have nowhere to actually pump out and excrete and exit the tunnel. And there's another thing called hyperkeratinization, which is basically an overgrowth of your own skin cells. So there are a lot of new skin cells that are growing inside and outside the pore tunnel, creating a traffic jam and a bottleneck, basically. Solution for this is pretty clear. I would highly encourage everyone out there who does suffer from clogged pores to invest in one of the three ingredients, retinol, vitamin A, AHA or BHA, or all three of them are fine. Just know how to space it out so that you don't over irritate your skin. AHA gently dissolves the bonds between the dead skin cells. So when your skin is naturally turning over, it makes it way, way, way easier for your skin to naturally push away the dead skin cells finally, because before then your dead skin cells are clumped up all together, having a really tight bond with one another. So it's kind of breaking friendship in a way. BHA or salicylic acid would be a wonderful idea if you do struggle with open comedones, so blackheads. If you need that poor clarity, BHA is an oil-soluble chemical exfoliant, making it really easier to travel down to your pore lining and cleaning that tunnel. Now there's vitamin A, the royal family of all skincare ingredients, and this is often called as retinol retinoid. I do have a separate video diving deeper into this entire family, so please check that out here. When it comes to clogged pores, vitamin A does serve a lot of great purposes. Not only does it resurface the skin, but it normalizes the entire skin cell turnover. It also does a beautiful job at addressing the hyperkeratinization issue, the overgrowth of skin cells. And since it is a fat soluble ingredient, it knows how to travel down into the pore lining, making sure everything is clear making sure there's no inflammation and all that jazz. Root cause number three to clogged pores is definitely overproduced sebum or highly activated oil factory. When there is limited space in the pore tunnel, but there is too much oil to be pumped out and to be sent out to the world, things become tricky. It's like a perfect environment for your pores to be clogged from inside and out. A lot of women, including myself, would experience some clogged pores just before their period. And that's when the hormonal imbalance happens. That's when the male hormones is actually more dominant. And the male hormone is something that does affect your sebaceous gland more. Also, there's something called cortisol, which is a stress hormone inside our body that can eventually reach the sebaceous gland to produce more oil. So whenever you are stressed, you tend to become more oilier, making it a little bit easier for your pores to get clogged, this could be also addressed. I do have a whole dedicated video on how to manage oily skin or lower the oil production for good because my skin was once extremely oily. When it comes to skincare, look for ingredients such as niacinamide, zinc, and also green tea. Those three ingredients would really, really help regulating your sebum production. Also, I would highly recommend you to use some facial oils that are higher in linoleic acid. It's because a lot of people who do have acne-prone skin tend to have a deficiency in linoleic acid on their sebum. So by adding a facial oil that is rich and higher in linoleic acid can definitely balance out your sebum production and it can change the quality of the oil and the viscosity of the oil that you are producing. And this is coming from my personal experience and a lot of Pom Pom Fam's personal experience too. Rosehip seed oil, safflower seed oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba, grape seed oil, these are all beautiful oils that are higher in linoleic acid that can change your oil quality 
for sure. When it comes to diet, do cut out dairy, sugar, and high glycemic foods. These do have a tendency to raise your insulin level, which has a tendency to signal your sebaceous gland to produce more oil. To review everything, the three major causes of clogged pores are number one, the viscosity of your sebum. Your own sebum can be a very comedogenic ingredient to you when it gets oxidized. Number two, slow down cell turnover or overgrowth of keratin, overgrowth of skin cells. Number three, just too much oil overproduce sebum. But definitely keep in mind that less is more when it comes to layering skincare, layering makeup. Less layer means less chance of pore clogging or less ingredients to potentially clog the pores. And also do not be afraid of silicones, especially dimethicone. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, definitely give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and do subscribe. That does mean a lot. And I'll probably do a follow-up video sharing my entire skincare regime on what I do whenever I do have clogged pores so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you guys so much for your time again and take care bye